smack of it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm about to show you is another perfect example of why you all must have a dash camera and how some people just suck, especially when they don't get what they want and they're not getting their way. Now, as you will see that these passengers uh, get all pissed off at the driver because I guess he took a different route, but that's where the GPS goes, and we all know we just follow the GPS, okay? We're not sitting there trying to go different places and um, go on adventures, okay? We're just trying to get you from point A to point B. But these passengers weren't happy. The driver said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just drop you off at a uh, safe location, and you can go ahead and kick rocks and find another one. And... They had the audacity to call 911 on him and blatantly get out of his car while he's sitting there in it, you know, about to leave. Thankfully, he has it all recorded on his dash camera because they're sitting there saying, oh, th this driver just tried to hit us with his car. And he's like, what? Are you crazy? And this type of crap is exactly why you need to have a dash camera because you don't know what anybody will say at any time. And you know what? These ladies should be brought up on charges for making a false police report. Okay, sadly, they, they, they weren't, but go ahead and take a look at this, and we'll talk a little bit more after. Are you going to report me because I'm violent? Yeah. How am I being violent? You are being violent. How am I being violent? Because no, I really. just asked if you were going a different way than the other three movers that I did. What if there was an action on 7th Street and that's what it was telling me to take Lakewood? Okay, you don't know that. You to say no, that you, to me a no you were telling me, like, your tone was... Uh. What, because I was looking down at my phone and I looked up and we didn't get off the freeway where we normally get off? It's not to be combative with you. That's what and then you're like. telling me, oh, you can drive if you fucking want. And I'm like, you're going to put and let me drive your car? Like, that's insane. And then you're telling me, oh, at the next exit, you can get the fuck out of my car. Look how you, I've never raised my voice. I never cursed at you or anything. I'll pull it right here, okay? And then you're letting me a out. Safe, a safe safe spot. This is a very safe I don't environment. Even know what this, is. this is one of the how, nicest how did, parts of uh, how, Rami. Okay, how do I call Uber and work for him? You're going to get refunded, yes. When uh, is the money getting refunded? Yes, yeah, everything's getting refunded. Mm. Uh. Once I once I end the trip, uh, I have the option to refund you the money. Can you refund her money so we can get another Uber? Since you're acting, uh, it takes a while to refund you so the how money. To get home I'm not sure. Ride. That's not that's not my problem. Okay, let me call nine one one. I'm All not right. getting out the car. This is a nice part of Long Beach. This is a nice part of Long Beach, yeah. It's one of the nicest parts of Long Beach. Yeah. You have your car information, license plate or anything? You have everything in the app. No, I'm talking to my daughter. I'm not talking to you. Right. Are you really calling 911 yes, today? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Wow, what if it's someone's like, getting shot or like fucking yeah. dying and you're calling... Yeah, well, you, you started and you're being hostile <laughs> and violent with me. Get out of the car. Then, 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 then get out the car if I'm being yeah, hostile then. A of his license, it's on the end, by the way. Yeah. You mind closing my door, please? Thank you. By the way, um. Do you want me to wait for the police? Do you want me to wait for the police? Do you want me to wait for the police? I can wait for the police. It's okay. Whatever you want to do. All right. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! He's trying to hit me with a car! Um, excuse me, miss. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I have a question. Did you see them hit him with the car? I'm so sorry, what? Did you see me hit those two girls with the car? I didn't see anything. They're calling one, nine, I'm an Uber driver and I just kicked them out. They're saying that I kicked them out and I'm trying to hit them with the car. I don't, know, I don't want any part of this. I didn't see anything. Gotcha. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Alrighty. I believe you. Like, I don't know. I didn't see 
anything. They're mad that I kicked them out, and they're saying they're saying that I'm that I'm trying to hit them, that I'm being super aggressive. I have a dash cam. Huh? I have a dash cam. You see that, guys? You see that? That's that BS that I've been talking about. And woo! If anybody deserves a smack of itch, it's definitely them two. Because how the hell are you just going to sit there, uh, whine and complain, sit there and, oh, driver's all competitive to me? No, he was being as kind, as respectful as he can. But, at the, you know, there's a certain point when it's just like, Get the heck out of my car, all right? The ride's done. We're no longer doing any of this. Get out of my car. Find a new ride. I'm not dealing with your BS. And then for them to have the audacity to get out of the car and sit there and be like, oh, he hit us. He tried to hit us with his car. He tried to hit us with his car. Like, are you kidding me? Like, do people not realize saying some crap like that? Like, I understand they were upset. They got to get another ride and everything. But like he said, it, that's not his problem. Okay, you guys didn't like the ride you had and how everything was going. So, you know, kick rocks and go find another one. But under no circumstances should you be calling the cops and sitting there making false accusations like that. Because not only could he, the driver get deactivated, but he could also get thrown in jail. Okay, and that's just, that's not right at all. Instead, what needs to happen now is... Those people need to be held accountable for their actions on sitting there and making the phone call to the police to make this false report. They should be fine. They should have to go to jail because some crap like that literally could ruin this man's life over what? Like a $10 ride? Hell no. That's a negative ghost rider. That's that BS I've been talking about. People, these passengers are not your friends, okay? As soon as you start thinking that and starting to get comfortable and everything... That's when the shit is going to hit the fan and go wrong for you. So please, guys, always, always have those dash camera going. Always be as respectful and as professional as you can, no matter what these people are trying to say to you. Because, hey, when it's on camera, that's going to show exactly what went down. Okay, so there's they're, they're already making themselves look bad. You don't need to sink to their level. All right, just get them out of your car. Wait for him. Wait for the police. Obviously, if they're gonna sit there and call it, so that way when they do show up, they're like, look, officer, here's all the footage. They're obviously lying. I did nothing that they said, and I sure as hell didn't try to hit them with my car. Like, come on, now that's common sense right there. What am I gonna sit there and try to go to jail over some two random strangers that I don't even know? Hell no, I don't think so. So please, guys, always remember, these people are not your friends. They are just clients that you try to go from A to B, and that's it, all right? And keep those dash cameras rolling, and please, please, do not try to get confrontation, confrontational with them because you can't argue with idiots. As you can see, arguing with idiots, you might as well just be talking to the wall. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to work. Don't waste your breath. Don't waste your time. But all right, guys, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. Check the description below for extra information and tips. Keep doing your thing. Get your money. Keep those cameras rolling. And until next time, Uber and Lyft on or don't. Peace out.